I've got to go back over here because this camera's got a habit of missing. I just did this pargrave. I've got to do it again. I took photos, but Emma Parr, who passed away the 31st of October 1945, aged 79. Also of her husband, John Parr, who passed away aged 77 in 1952. I was just saying about the Parrs and the Isaacsons having a connection here. Some were doctors and they were solicitors. None of that turned out because I I must have pressed to, forgot to press the red button again. And it could have happened elsewhere. This is the problem when you can't just nip back and do it. Anyway, as I walked over here I came across another par grave in loving memory of Kitty, the dearly beloved child of R and E. Parr, who died 30th of November 1930, aged 14. Um, also, Ernest L. Hunt, nephew of the above, who died 17th of March 1934, aged 7. So they died quite young, didn't they? And here we got a Luke Clayden, who died 15th of January 1930, aged 64 years. Claydens are uh, somewhere in the great in the family tree. The Claydens. Some of these, unless they've been cut the grass back, you don't read these these ones, they don't get red. You can't always read round the outside of them, seeing you can miss, you can actually miss quite a few that way. But I did, anything one's been missed, I've taken, if the tape don't turn out, I've actually done photos and I can fill in the chat later. Here we go, we another one now. Here we've got in loving memory of Eliza, beloved wife of Robert Parr, who died September the 12th, 1951, aged 73, also of the above Robert Parr, who died July the 1st, 1967, aged 91. So that's another Parr grave. Ma Rebecca Margaret Robinson Oakwood. I've got all that side to do as well yet. But I really have to keep an eye on this tape recording, you know. Because I've just done some important stuff. And, um... I don't want to lose any of that. And so it's just annoyed. I've often lost whole sections of tape recording where I have not pressed the red button properly. And it is very annoying. Imagine if I missed out if those musk ones haven't come out. That's why it's good to have two cameras and you do at least get the photo. You can hear it click unless the memory runs out, of course, which is, of course, a problem as well if you don't if it doesn't let you know the memory is short this is what I love doing this is what I miss now when I'm at home in Somerset I have to compensate by walking everywhere and I do other Somerset churches now and again I've done a lot of them now and um, Callaway. This is a big one, isn't it? I wonder who's in here, but hard to see, isn't it? Were somebody could were. I 
This looks like one. Also her husband, Walter Parr. Who died 1961, age 69. And of course this person will be the other side. Annie Parr. Called to rest 1943, age 59. And then you've got Millie Parr. Oh, it says Far here, but on there it's Parr. Look, everywhere else it's Parr, but it's saying Far here. I don't know, she could have married a Far. I'll be coming up and doing these in a minute. This is what I'm up here for, to do this. Are you? Yeah. This is what I'm here for. Family tree work. tempting just to leave the ones that you can't see properly in it. Do you know what I mean? Just leave it. You think, oh, I don't bother with that one. You know, it's too difficult to read. Years ago, I used to spend ages trying to find out which every, every single grave. Like I say, if I don't recognise, I'm not doing every single one, but I am doing quite a few. And I will, these rectangular ones are so hard to read. You have got to get right up next to them. That's a king grave. I guess it's so tempting just to pass by. You know, not bother to try and read them. Because they they're, they're just dif difficult to read. And you just can't be bothered. That's what happens. The ones that are nice and bold and clear, everyone's going to remember them, aren't they? Hey? Uh. I just do go up and down the rows, really. This is another petite one. I do sometimes do these because we've got petites further back in time in the tree. We've got Claydons as well, of course. Stetchworth, mainly. Is that going already? Not so long, have you? We'll have to go back so you don't get the charger. Will I? Yeah. Right, turn off for a minute. I've got to go back and get the charger. Right, I've recorded um, the Starling grave here. Isabel Starling and Cecil... Cyril Nelson Starling. Um, because we have starting relations in Borough Green. Braybrook, there's a few Braybrooks. Rosebrook. Here we got, here we got one. In memory and memory of Ernest Jaggard, who died 9th of Jan, 1967, age 68. And Bertha Lillian Jaggard, who died 17th of April 1975, age 84. Somewhere in the family there's Jaggards. Only Thomas C. Deutsch. It's an unusual name, isn't it? Deutsch.
I always do the moon graves. I think of Ollie every time I think of moons. That's my kid's grandmother. She had moon in the family, but there was quite a lot of uncertainty about where, who was who. You know, I'm a woman travelling on her own. There's still so much prejudice about women on their own. It's, um, and misogyny from men um, who feel threatened by independent women. It's true. I come across it all the time. You can use it to your advantage sometimes if you need help. Just pretend the dumb blonde and people come running. Anyway... That's what I've done all my life, actually. Here we got another par. Enough in memory of a dear husband and father, Arthur Edward Parr, died the 27th of January. I was born on the 27th of January, 1952. He died on January the 27th, 1984, aged 63. Reunited with his beloved wife, Beatrice May Parr, 1920 to 2005. And the reason I'm doing the pars is because Isaacson's and pars are connected in our family tree. Sometimes double barreled, if you know what I mean. I'm going to just take a picture of this Jarvis grave because somewhere in the family there's something to do with Jarvis. Well, like I said, I'm not expecting to find many musks now, or brooks, because we haven't found a brooks yet. The, as I've seen in the mid-18th century, a lot of them moved away. Now, Fletchers, I'll keep, I do do the Fletchers, because they do turn up, and we're still looking for their origins. So I've got Fletchers in the family. Right, we're starting another section of the graveyard now. So we've done that side. So I'm going to turn off the video for a minute and come back on. I'm just saving. <laughs> 